Hello, my dear lovely students of class 4. I am Vidya Rani, your English teacher. So children, today again, I have come up with a video for you all that is chapter number 2, The Visit to the Mansion, part 4. Earlier children, we had discussed about this chapter in part 1, part 2, part 3 of chapter 2, The Visit to the Mansion. Now what we have discussed in that video, just let us quickly recapitulate and proceed to part 4 of chapter 2, The Visit to the Mansion. Like children, in the earlier video, we had discussed about the friendship of Joe and Laurie. How they become friends. How Laurie invites Joe to his house to spend the time with her. Laurie, being all alone, enjoys that moment spent along with Joe. They both keep on discussing about themselves. Joe discusses about her sisters, three of the sisters and Laurie also listens to her. Now, while they keep on talking to each other, they come to know about each other that both of them love reading books. Joe feels very happy that Laurie also loves reading books. Up till here, we had ended with part 3. Now, children, let us proceed to part 4 of this very chapter, The Visit to the Mansion. Children, put your fingers. Where am I reading? If you like them so much, come down to our library. Laurie offered, Grandpa isn't home. Don't be afraid. I am not afraid of anything. Joe replied, tossing her head. Now Laurie said, Listen Joe, if you want to visit my library, since you are fond of reading books, I have lots of books in my library. If you feel like visiting my library, come, I'll take you to my library. But because Grandpa is not there at home, you can visit to the library. Then to this, Joe replies that I am not afraid of your grandfather. Laurie laughed and led her through the rooms. Laurie laughed at her and took her through the rooms. Kept on showing her different rooms of that mansion. Now Joe was enjoying children. He let her examine whatever stuck her fancy. At last they reached the library where Joe clapped her hands and danced with delight. It was lined with books. And then there were pictures and statues, strange little tables and bronze pieces and best of all, a great open fireplace with quaint tiles all round it. Now, Laurie laughed at Joe when she said, that I am not afraid of your grandfather. So Joe took her through different rooms of the mansion and let her examine whatever came into whatever she wanted to see. Let her, let her see whatever she wanted to know about different things about mansion and showed her all the rooms. 
But when Jo reached to the library, she started clapping children. She clapped her hand and started dancing. Why did she do so? Because she loved reading books and various books were all lined up. All lined up children. And when she saw that, she was very delighted. She was very happy. And there she could see different kinds of pictures and statues. Okay? And strange little tables, small reading tables were also kept there. And bronze pieces were also there. And the very best thing for Jo was that when she saw that fireplace was also there, which was beautified with tiles all round it. So she was very happy to see all different kinds of things there in library. Okay, children, what richness, sighed Joe, sinking into a chair and gazing around her. Tudor Lawrence, you should be the happiest boy in the world. She said, what richness is there in the room, in this library? Everything feels so nice, Lawrence. And saying this, she threw herself on the chair. And she kept on gazing all round the room. And she said, Laurie, you should be the happiest boy of this world. Why you are not happy? Such nice library you have, such the library is decorated so nicely. So you should be the happiest boy. No one can live on books, said Laurie, shaking his head as he perched on a table. Just then a bell rang and Joe flew up, alarmed. It, it's your grandpa. What shall I do? Now, when Joe said, that you should be the happiest boy of this world. Then to her words, Laurie said, No one can live only on books. If you are provided with books, you cannot be the happiest person. Joe, and saying this, he perched on the table. Perched means what? He sat at the edge of the table. Okay, and just then a bell rang. Okay, he could hear the bell. Then Joe, in surprise, okay, she flew up from the chair. She threw herself from the chair and she said, It might be your grandpa. Now, what shall I do when he will see me? He'll get angry. What will I do? Well, what if it is? You said you are not afraid of anything, remembered? Said Laurie laughing. Laurie said that right now you said that you are not afraid of my grandfather. Then why you are getting so tensed? But it was only the doctor who had come to check Laurie. Would you mind if I left, left you? For a minute, Laurie asked. But that calling bell, when it rang, children, who was there? It was the doctor who had come to examine Laurie, to see Laurie because Laurie was sick. And Laurie said, can I leave you for a few minutes and get myself checked up by the doctor? Then to his words, Joe shook her head and went off to look the portrait of old Mr. Lawrence. She was still standing before the portrait when the door opened again. When the door opened again, she was 
still standing, she was seeing the old portrait of Mr. Lawrence. And she said, Laurie, that I won't mind if you go for the checkup. Jo did not turn as she said, I won't be afraid of your grandpa. Now Jo, this time when the door opened, Jo did not turn back and she said, without turning back, that I am not afraid of your grandpa because she was thinking that Laurie had returned back to the room. He looked stern but he had kind eyes and like him. I like him. Now the person who listened to this words of Joe was stern. Okay. And that was who you know children? That was grandpa of Laurie. Okay. He had come into the room but Joe did not know about it because she never turned and saw that it was Mr. Lawrence. Thank you ma'am said a girl voice behind. Now Mr. Lawrence said thank you to her and there to Joe's great dismay stood old Mr. Lawrence and to great dismay all surprised when Joe heard this voice that was somewhat different voice. Then she turned back and she could see Mr. Lawrence. Mr. Lawrence was standing right at the back of her. Okay children. Now Mr. Lawrence was very happy, amused and he invited Joe on a tea. Okay. Now Laurie and Joe talked very happily. And then Mr. Lawrence realized that how lonely Laurie was and decides to let Laurie visit March's house then and there. Okay? Now and then he decided that Laurie to go to March's house. Now children, here we come to the end of the story. Hope you loved reading this story. Keep on reading this story children so that your reading skill improves. Learn all the new words from this very chapter and learn the difficult spellings given in this chapter. Till then, take care children. I'll be catching you up with the next video of mine. Take care. Bye.